Caleb the Half-Life Editor 07 has got to be one of the worst criminals ever seen on YouTube. Let me give you reasons on why he sucks. 1. He lied about his age. Saying that he's 14 when he is 21. I guess. 2. He can't handle dislikes or criticism. What a surprise. 3. He is a hypocrite. He claims that he hates Emmanuel Thomas yet he stalks people himself. What Emmanuel Thomas wannabe? 4. He makes sock puppet accounts such as, Sierra TLFYT, Gabriel Mafan 9696, Gabriel the Sierra TLFYT fan, Atomic Stella, Superstar Luna, Angela Red Girl 27, Belle Pearly, Lily Anderson, Miley Anderson and more sock puppet accounts. Wow, just wow. What a James Parker wannabe, 5. Back in November 2020 on Discord. He said he's going to cut off land in these guy 2005's private part. What the living hell is wrong with you Caleb? You should know threatening to cut off someone's private parts is disgusting. And this proves you are a pervert since you now like sexually harassing Midnight Arna 2K3. And that's unacceptable of you to do that to London. And you are also the reason why your haters is getting low support because of the crimes you committed in late 2020 to 2021. We will never forgive you because of what you did was unforgivable. 6. He keeps denying his wrongdoings. For example, he denies the fact that he lied about his age and he also denied the fact that he makes sock puppet accounts. Well Caleb, the reason why everyone think you lied your age because they saw your face reveal. 7. He sexually harasses Midnight Arna 2K3 several times. The two examples is that he made a shipping video out of her with dark green animator, and the second one is that he made a shipping video out of her with Sparkle Shine Gamer 2K7. Really? You should know Midnight Arna 2K3 is already taken by Dana Rapper and Imshans 2008, while Dark Green is 12, while Sparkle Shine Gamer 2K7 is 13 or 14 I think. 8. He is a hypocrite, he claims he hates Rainboy 107 yet he acts like him. He claims he likes Sparkle Shine Gamer 2K7 but yet he shipped her along with Midnight Arna 2K3 as their couple. And he's also against pedophiles and perverts but yet he is a pervert himself. 9. On his Angela Red Girl 27 sock puppet account, he told Midnight Arna 2K3 to get COVID-19. Which proves he's heartless to people who died from COVID-19 since 2020. 10. His channel is stupid. 11. His grammar is poor. 12. He keeps crying over smallest things. For example on his videos, he cried over Electromaniatic losing interest on him, another example is that he cried over his account getting terminated, another example is that he's crying over Midnight Arna 2K3 making him feel suicidal, and another example is that he cried over his fake girlfriend Sierra TLFYT getting terminated on YouTube, which proves he's acting like an 4 year old kid, seriously Caleb? Not everyone is going to like or trust you. 13. He made a hate account out of Midnight Arna 2K3 to harass her for attention. 14. On his Sierra TLFYT's account, he stole random girls' face for attention, but thankfully God he deleted it to avoid getting called out or exposed. 15. On his Sierra TLFYT's account. He wished two criminals named Vidran Frigate and Stanvir Animate a happy birthday. But not only a hypocrite he is, but a criminal supporter. 16. He threatened to find Midnight Arna 2K3's address. Are you out of your mind or something? You should know doxxing is a serious crime to do IT. But if you do in real life, you'll get sent to jail for that. And you are also the main reason why Midnight Arna 2K3 is now feeling stressed because of you. Well you suck for doing that for attention. 18. He can't handle hate or criticism. What a surprise. 19. On his Seattle Lefts account, he made message to people who is going to wish Midnight Arna 2K3 an happy birthday. Really Caleb? They can wish her an happy birthday whatever they want, 
even though her birthday was over one or two months, 20, he ranted on Red Coin the Red Awaken 16, but he deleted it to avoid hate. Come on Caleb the man child, just handle hate like a man just like everyone and me do. 21, back in 2020, he plagiarized Land and these guy 2005's video ideas. Come on, just give credit to those who has original video ideas. 22, he was a simp to sparkle shine gamer 2k7. What a pedophile. 23, back in October 2020, he made it a post celebrating laughing Bob 100's death. Which is heartless and rude of you to do that. 24, he keeps making excuses to get away with his crimes, which will never happen in real life. 25, on his Angela Red Girl 27's account, he was transphobic because he lied about Adrian the Dark Warrior 05's gender, even though I hate boyfriend, girlfriend trends since it's gender faking. 26 and last, he was the reason why his haters is getting lowest support because of his entire shit that he did since 2020 to 2021, and he was the reason why the go Nemet, Beyond community is getting toxic nowadays. Are you dumb or something? WH why would you made the Gonamut community toxic because of your entire shit? And we had enough of your shit. Screw you and your entire shit Caleb. You are now my number one worstest users next to Crayon Love 72 and Jason the Christmas Yes Sunny Day No Fan. Now get out of here before I call the police on you. Right. N N N N N N N N O O O O O O O O W W W W W W W W W Sorry about that volume. All right guys, that's all I have to say for this rant. See you guys later on the next video. Goodbye. My next rant will be on Gareth Avinda.